For this lesson, I'd like to introduce you to power chords. These are very simple chords because we only use two or three strings to play them. Power chords are primarily used in rock music, although there are many other types of music in which you will hear them. You will always see a power chord written as the capital letter or key of the chord, followed by the number 5, as in E5, G5, A5, etc. This is because they contain the first or root note of the chord, plus the fifth note of that major scale. Let me explain. If we look again at the G major scale, we can count the notes as we play them, like so. The first note is G, the second note is A, the third is B, the fourth is C, the fifth is D, remember that one, the sixth is E, the seventh is F sharp, and the eighth note is another G or octave of the first note. Now if we play the first and fifth notes of the scale together, that is the G and D, then we're playing a power chord, in this case G5. For this, I am using my first and third fingers. Also, please use just downstrokes on this exercise. Let's try it together. After four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. As you can see, the first finger of my fretting hand is also touching the other strings lightly to stop them from making a sound. This is called muting and means that if I pluck any other strings by accident, you won't hear them. More about this technique in future lessons. At this point, I'd like you to notice the shape of this chord. You'll see that you are playing the root note on the lower string and the fifth note of the scale on the next string up, two frets above the first note. This is always the shape of a simple power chord, no matter where you are playing it. Now let's try some others. Here we have the note of A on the 5th fret of the bottom string. Play this with E on the 7th fret of the 5th string. Now we are playing an A5 chord. Move this shape up by 2 frets, and now you have a B5. Let's play these three chords as a pattern, like so. G5, A5, B5, A5, and repeat. Now play four times on each chord with me, like this. After four, one, two, three, 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 four, Three, four. Now let's try this shape on the next pair of strings. This time we play the note of C on the 3rd fret of the 5th string, along with the note of G on the 5th fret 4th string. This is a C5 chord. Pluck both strings, move it up by 2 frets, and we have D5. Pluck. Up another 2 frets gives us E5. Pluck this. Again, let's play these as a pattern. C5, D5, E5, and D5. With me, after four. One, two, three, 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 four. As you become more familiar with where the notes are on the neck, you will find that you'll be able to play any power chord you like. 